Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It is Tuesday afternoon, May 9th, about 1 o'clock. I'm down at the very south end of Key Waden Island. Some of you may recognize this. Just north of Marco Island, Florida. Marco Island is around to my left here. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous here today. These colors are just unbelievable. We're about eight miles south of Naples. It's an eight mile island between Naples and Marco. A very popular destination on the weekends. A little quieter during the week. If this was a weekend, you wouldn't even get a place to tie your boat up here. Weekends, they have, oh, they have a taco boat that comes out, an ice cream boat. I think they even have some kind of adult beverage boat, if I'm not mistaken. But you have to come by boat. And it is pet friendly. I think this is actually the only legal pet friendly beach in Collier County, Key Wade Island. The Gulf of Mexico over there, we'll take a little walk past the boats and then cut through the, eye, the middle, well, the end of the island here. And take you over to the Gulf. Gorgeous. We came by pontoon boat down the England Coastal Waterway. We really took our time, very slow going, took us about an hour and a half to get down here. You can make it in much less than that. We came down with our friends Todd and Kathy and Rhonda Day. Rhonda and her husband Jerry belong to the Freedom Boat Club. It's kind of like a timeshare thing. You just, if there's a boat available, you can take it out. You just pay for the fuel. Great way to have access to a boat without having all the headaches of boat ownership. This is definitely where you want to come. The other side of the island, the Gulf side, is where there's a lot of seashells. And on this point where I was, that's where the shellers hang out. It's a nicer day. Gosh, colors of the clouds, that sky. It's incredible. So blessed to be able to come out and enjoy sites like this, places like this, and then share them with you. Hit that share button. I mean, this is a tropical paradise. And it's literally almost just out of our out our back door. Doesn't that look like fun? Let's have your little island picnic. Our boat, and then we'll cut across the island over the other side. They do get nesting birds here, shorebirds, seabirds. Stay away from them if you come across a nest. Leave them be if you see some nesting birds, birds sitting just in the sand. Stay away from them. They're sitting on a nest. Of course, sea turtle nests. Stay away from them. The sea turtles stay away from them. If you're here doing some shelling. Don't take any live shells off the beach. Make sure there's nothing living in there. I think this is new, this little cut in here since the hurricane. Made this little inlet here. This was dry when we first got here. The water here. The tide comes in fast. Got to make sure you keep an eye on your boat. What do you think? Would you like to be here walking the beach with me today? I bet the answer is yes. 
kind of a no-brainer, isn't it? That's the boat we came down on. They all kind of look the same, these pontoon boats, don't they? A lot of them are rentals. Very popular boats down here for rentals. They're kind of easy to operate. They give you a nice smooth ride. They're not made for out in the Gulf, more for the inland water. lined up here. Gorgeous. Probably gonna hang out here for a few hours and then head back. Killed my schedule today. All the videos I needed to get posted are going to be a little late. <laughs> but it's worth it, isn't it? Isn't this view worth it? Alright, so we're going to cut across here. There's a little path here. Stay out of the vegetation that's protected by law as well. Be messing with sea oats, picking sea oats, or anything like that. Take you over to the Gulf. The Gulf water is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sweetie pie. Do it during the week. <laughs> Do it during the week. Breezy. Sorry about the wind noise. Doing the best I can. Covering up the mic. showing up on the shore here for the first time. One of our early explorers. I've been walking around here for a while this morning. I did not see any sea turtle nests. I'm sure they have them here. Can't imagine why not. I just didn't notice any. to my left. It's kind of hard to see down there. But um, that is the largest of the 10,000 islands, Marco Island. Nothing much past Marco. And Texas over that away. <laughs> like I said, about eight miles to the north here. Up that away is Naples. Do 
feet away from the island. So maybe we should have a Southwest Florida television boat trip down here. Get somebody with a big boat that can make it down here. Look at this water. I don't know what the temperature is. It's beautiful. It feels great. I didn't check the water temperature, but it is absolutely gorgeous. The colors, just unbelievable. Spoiled. Hope you enjoyed our little walk. I certainly know I did. I haven't been down here in ages. It brings back a lot of memories from back in the 80s when I used to live on Marco Island. Hey, thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.